This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melt and craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 33 through 518 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We've got uh, some audio, and you can check out this video on the BJ Meeks page of KISW.com. we got this audio of a dude on the 16th floor of a Florida hotel, and he filmed a hammerhead shark getting within inches of a man standing in shallow water, then turning away at the last second. Uh, listen to the guy narrate what happened, and you can also listen to the people on the shore trying to warn the man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. He sees it. He sees it. Look at him. Oh, my God. Did you get that on video? Did you get that on video? I was like, what an idiot. He's in the water. Like, isn't that what people do? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he was like, I hope that a shark's going to get next to me. Well, I, I'm wondering, though, because there's, like, no one else in the water. I wonder oh. if at that point, like, people were like, shark. And he's just like, ah, I'm going to stay out here. He could be one of the. I mean, a lot of people say, "Oh, hammerheads! They're not. They don't go for humans. Like they're they're not like going to try and get after you or anything along those lines." So maybe he just had that in his head. He's like, "I, I hammerhead. It's no problem." <laughs> yeah, that that wouldn't be me. No, yeah. dude. Like right? we went, yeah. we went to Point Defiance and we took uh, Baby Tatum to check out the zoo, and she loved oh, the aquarium. Nice. Like she, penguins were probably her favorite. Like that was like. She, but then after that, it was the aquarium, right? like up against the glass, just staring. And the hammerhead was the star, man. Yeah. The hammerhead is like it's such a cool looking shark to look at. Yeah, well, yeah especially, you're right. especially at Point Defiance too, because like you have that big, like when you walk downstairs and you have that big like thing yes. where they just like go above you. It was like because we went to Point Defiance too recently, and it was like whoa, I, I felt like I was underwater. And, and then with the stingrays, the stingrays yeah. are like where I, I mean, you instantly think of Steve Irwin. I mean, unfortunately, but like it's just like they are just massive looking yeah, yeah. They're, they're so their stingers are huge and but the funny part is their faces are kind of cute like so you're like <laughs> very confused by this whole thing you're cute but i know you can kill people yep yeah that's how they get you it's the scariest like, oh. part though i think of the of point defiance wasn't anything in the zoo it was just trying to find a parking spot that was oh yeah that's terrifying a, that yeah, hasn't that's changed the, in uh 30 some odd years man Dude, we went on Sunday, and we're like, okay, well, we, we bought the tickets in advance. We had, like, our appointment to be there at 2 o'clock. And it was worse than, like, trying to find a parking spot in a mall during Christmas. Yep. And the whole time, you're like, you can't really bitch that they don't have enough parking. This parking lot is massive. But it was, and it's like, you, you really do start seeing, like, a social experiment because people are getting angry very quick. Oh, and, yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, you're just, like, hovering. You're like a vulture driving around. It took us, like, 25 minutes until we finally got a spot. So you had an appointment and still the parking lot was slammed. 
Yeah, because I mean, I don't know if everybody buys their tickets in advance and gets an appointment. We just figured let's just buy the tickets oh, in advance. Oh, I, I thought you, I thought it was a COVID thing where you had to have an appointment. Oh, okay. I think that it, since COVID, they've instituted that, but I think you can still walk up and buy tickets. I don't understand the rhyme or reason behind the well, appointment. Well, that's bull. I mean, yeah. the, the, the one good thing about having an appointment is you probably figure then, okay, there's only going to be the amount of people they know, which should be the amount that they have room for in their parking lot, especially if it's massive. But well, the I'm cra- now. But the crazy part, you get into the zoo i'm like oh it's just gonna be a, a zoo in there and okay, i get it and it was just it was fine like yeah, it wasn't that bad it didn't feel like it was packed at all so i'm like where are all these people that were in those cars like you know because <laughs> you didn't feel overwhelmed by the amount of people inside the zoo it was just the parking lot itself was just a pure s show yeah they could just be parking around just to go like on the five mile uh, hike and all that stuff as well and they just You're they're right. screwing you steve or oh, thanks, oh, thanks yeah. Rev. i wish oh. someone would have told them we were coming <laughs> i mean they got like a hiking spot right near the zoo oh well, that's yeah and people are just going to try to find parking anywhere when it comes down to that area so yeah it's usually well a, a zoo anyway but yeah or the, yeah. the hammerhead just took care of a lot of those those people and they just left their cars there. You they, know? They, yeah, <laughs> no, you're right. They wow. all thought all of this is safe, and then the hammerhead <laughs> just attacks them. Exactly. Like, well, well, even like that guy, the the guy on the 16th floor. Apparently, that was his wedding day. Oh, wow. like, imagine if he saw a shark attack on his wedding day. Oh my god! Would that like, be a sign whoa. that I like, get out? No, that's totally good luck. <laughs> oh, is it when a shark yeah. attacks a human? Sure. <laughs> well, it's not I don't know. you on your wedding day. That's good luck, right? Well, and who's that woman with him? Because it's bad luck to see the bride on your wedding day, right? What if that wasn't his bride? That was his mistress. Oh. Oh, wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be the story? Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah. <laughs> wow. And my bad. It's not a shark attack. It would be a, a negative encounter from a shark. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess. Oh that's yeah. The yeah. New thing. Yeah. Oh a yeah. Negative oh, encounter from a they, shark. They, they're trying to. People are trying to tell you not to call things shark attacks when they're not like legit. Like if you just get nipped by a shark, you know, people are like, "Oh, you're attacked by a shark," and like that's not. That's very insulting to the shark because that didn't really attack him. It was a negative gotcha. encounter. Oh, no, yeah. the shark's feelings. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group of experts in Australia trying to change the terminology, yeah. They're called shark interactions. Yeah, that's what they are because they, 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 they're saying these little bites or nibbles are not attacks. Even, they're literally biting on you and nibbling on your skin, but these guys are going, oh, those aren't attacks. Are we supposed to just give them a one-star on Yelp then at that point? Yes. <laughs> so they're saying that because sharks don't have hands... Their only way to feel something is with their mouth. Okay, who is it? these sharks have hired some good PR people. God, that's right. That, that sounds like a bad dating thing. Like, I'm sorry, I have to fill you with my mouth because yeah, I can't, I don't so know. sorry. Oh, that's a bad <laughs> thing to do. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I mean, if you're not supposed to have blood in the water, and they literally have sharp teeth that can cut you while they're getting to know you, I mean, come on. And I'm All sorry right. if I'm at a bar. And I said, yo, I once had a shark attack. That's going to get me free drinks. If I said I had an encounter with a shark, nobody's going to give an F. (laughs) <laughs> and they're they're they're, they're hearkening back to the 1900s, Steve. The early 1900s. They never called them shark attacks. They called them shark accidents. So they're saying, why, why did we make it all negative? Whoops! The shark accidentally ran its teeth into me. See, and yeah, that's what it is. Did say the hammerhead sharks? They only they eat shellfish. Not uh, they don't usually go after humans. Oh, oh. yeah, usually just kind of like in defense or something like that. So I mean. If it's swimming by you and you don't notice it and you bump into it, it's going to defend it and then bite you, right? I mean, you're still probably going to get bit. And some were uh, saying that in the video, I guess it was like the, the, it, the hammerhead probably was just chasing a fish and wasn't really going after that guy. Oh, well, listen, you know what? We're all expert experts here, especially the Rev. So I, whatever he says, I'm going to go with. Oh, yeah, I'm a total shark expert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. He watches Shark Week. He knows what's up. Yeah, I did once. I think you're in the middle of Shark Week right now, aren't we? I think so. Or t- towards the tail end of it. I would hope so because we got a lot of shark stories. Oh, I see what you did. I didn't mean that. <laughs> nice. Gosh. Yeah. I can't right. help it that these stupid things come out of my mouth unintentionally. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We got a man that got a DUI for using his drone while drunk. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Steve's going to tell you all about this. He's got the mix report for you at 620 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. 
Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Mix. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Kia up you all for giving us the Mix Report. And today, very special day, it's National Moonwalk Day. Also, some people call it just National Moon Day. So, oh, you know, if you want to just show your butt to someone, you can do that, or <laughs> or you can do wow. the famous Michael Jackson dance, or both at the same time, whatever you feel like doing. Wow, those are two different days, really. I mean, the moonwalk is cool, and everybody loves it. The moon day is well, somebody is really not being treated well. True, true. Yeah, I did okay. surprise my wife once. Somehow we were talking about moonwalking, and I said I could do it, and she didn't believe me, and I did it, and it just she was just like, why do you even know how to do that? I'm nice. Like, I don't know. It's just how kind come of you've a never thing. done that for us? I, I have. have. Of all of the different live events we've had. I've never seen you do the moonwalk, and that would have been one of our featured things. I've done it in studio for you. Thanks really? for remembering. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I, we had a conversation about how Miles can do it too, and then it was it's a yeah. Does everybody remember that but me? Oh, not everybody you know, remembers that. I'm very disappointed in all of you. Yeah, I don't remember you moonwalk. I think we're gonna have to do it again. I mean, uh, Pixar didn't happen, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm always up for a good moonwalk. <laughs> okay, all right, Vicky, we'll get ready. Uh, once we're done with the news, uh, we're gonna have to get you moonwalking. All right, I haven't stretched, so I can I can only oh, promise mediocrity. I can still go. do it. I'm I'm no problem doing it. I'm just saying. Like, I, I think the whole show remembers break dancing, bragging, and we've never ever once seen you. Oh, do there's any not break a chance dancing. I'm gonna try and break dance like I did in yeah. elementary Come school, on. junior high school. I, I, I appreciate my hips these days too much. All we hear about are the glory days. Oh, yeah. it was amazing. That's how we used to like uh, really impress the girls. I'm the like, Uncle Rico of breakdancing. Uh, you didn't know this? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. That's a really good way to put it. If I bring up the moon, I mean, Grant's not moon, it's space, but I don't know if you saw this, but Jeff Bezos just flew to space in his giant dong. Yeah. yeah pretty cool. Danny showed me awesome, the spaceship. Have you seen it? Uh, I have not seen the dong ship. It looks just like it, a dong? It looks oh, like yeah. a dong, but the tip looks like R2-D2's head. Oh, okay. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's... Oh, whoa. Right? right? It's that very phallic. Ship. Space wiener. And wow. it just took off like minutes ago and got to space like in seconds. It was ridiculous. This thing yep. was going fast. And it just actually just landed. Yeah. Literally yeah. just seconds ago. Wow. It Safe took off sound. like a couple minutes ago and just landed a couple of seconds ago. So his dong goes fast. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> All right. Impressive. Yeah, so that's uh, it. Looks like space tourism. We're gonna we're seeing the beginnings of it. You think uh, Elon's texting going? I did it first. <laughs> or something Probably. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah. And, but, but I bet Elon's mad that uh, Jeff's uh, ship looks like a dong because that's something you think Elon would have done. Right. You could call it the E dong. E dong. <laughs> All right. Well, granted, they weren't flying a spaceship, but this guy was flying a drone, and he got arrested because well, he was drunk while flying his drone around. And it's like one of those ones with the remote control. It's not like he's actually in the drone, but a guy in Japan was arrested for flying a drone while under the influence, which apparently is illegal in Japan, but it's also illegal in other places, including New Jersey. Apparently, like if you live in New Jersey and you're drunk, you better not get that drone out. Really? Yeah, it's happened a couple of weeks ago. He's a 56 year old guy. Here's the impressive part. He decided to crush about eight beers between seven in the morning and noon. So some yeah. day drinking was going on. And for some reason, he decided, I need to clean my place. So now he's drunk. He's cleaning okay. his house or his apartment. And while he's cleaning it, he found a drone that he hadn't flown in a while. So, of course, you see it. You're like, you know, I haven't oh. used it in a while. Let me go take this. it out for a spin. So he All goes right. outside, gets the drone fired up, up in the air, crashes it through the neighbor's window. Oh, Authorities show up, and he admits that he was drinking and droning, and this could lead to a twenty-seven hundred dollar fine for the guy. Wow! So just remember that if you're in Japan or New Jersey, stay sober when you fly your drone. 
Okay, dang. That's a, you would think that just having a couple of beverages flying your drone is a nice afternoon. Not in Japan and New Jersey. No, also, I mean, it doesn't help that he flew it into his neighbor's window. Oh, that neighbor's always been a pest. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that neighbor. All right, let's head on over to Oklahoma where police tracked down a woman that was a suspect on their most wanted list for, I guess she was in trouble for being an accessory to murder. Oh, what? So they have a most wanted list and they put it up on their Facebook. And that woman by the name of Lorraine, the one that's being wanted, commented on the Facebook post asking what the reward was. <laughs> no, she did not. Yep, they put the post up that listed her as wow. the weekly most wanted. She replied to the post saying, quote, Where's the where's the reward money at? Well, at some point they tracked her down. She didn't get the reward money, but she did get arrested. Wow, that uh, that woman right there. It's hard to believe that she was involved in a murder. She's such a genius. BJ, I bring this story up only because of the headline: a yeah. runaway tortoise was found only a half a mile away after a year of looking. <laughs> wow, I think that says it all. <laughs> That's a terrible search crew, and you yeah. can't find a turtle. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, that turtle's good. But that turtle, you know, you, sometimes you move so slow, people are thinking it's a rock. Dude, a 14-year-old turtle by the name of Maxi was finally reunited with uh, the owner. And, yeah, it was a year long that this turtle at some point got over a fence or something along those lines. And it went on its epic journey with the average speed of 0. 0.0007 miles per hour. Oh, at least right. there was a number there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Ended Jeez. up like a little over a half a mile from the house. Wow. Then the person that found the turtle started looking on Facebook groups to see if anyone was missing this turtle and eventually found the guy. And now they're back and they're happy. The turtle. Are back. they? I mean, the turtle did escape and tried to get away as best it could. I mean, maybe just the turtle went for a walk. I mean, I don't know how. I don't know. Walk. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I feel like. I don't know, Steve. Well, the owner, I suggest you go to the rock shop. Ride the Turtle. And purchase yourself a Ride the Turtle t-shirt. Available for a limited time, BJ. So so that's why we did this story. 100%. Okay. Okay. (laughs) There's no other reason. Uh, It was either do it for that so I could play these sounds. But but that turtle was not found with any other turtles. As far as we know, I mean, it was a whole year. Maybe that's why it didn't get so far. That's true. That's true. Hey, tomorrow, big day for us hockey fans and our Seattle Kraken fans. The NHL expansion draft is going to be on ESPN2. I already have DVR set because I just don't want to I want to have it on. I don't know why I want to have it on my DVR for however long. I don't know if I'm going to watch it every day until the team starts or why. But I'm just so excited about this. It's at 5 p.m. on ESPN2. Uh, it's all going to be happening at Gashworks Park. They gave away a bunch of tickets. If you don't have tickets, so don't just show up. They're asking, you know, otherwise it's just going to be a traffic nightmare, of course. So, you know, they, yeah. they, they gave them out to different groups and things along those lines. So if you don't have the tickets, just enjoy it either at home or get on a boat and do the sailgating thing and decorate your boat because they're going to give away prizes, including tickets to the home opener for the best decorated boat that's Ooh. out there on Lake Union. So that's pretty cool. As far as weather tomorrow, can ask for a better temperature. 69 degrees. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so enjoy that. Ron Francis, the general manager of the, the Kraken, is going to be on ESPN2, of course, making all the announcements. A lot of pomp and circumstance, which is usually not how they used to do it in the past. You used to just be general manager in a hotel conference room announcing the players, and that's it, and it's done. But because of Vegas, you know, Vegas does everything big. Now, here we are. We got to, you know, you, you can't just let Vegas have an awesome expansion no. draft. So now we have a big <laughs> event, a big shindig, and it's going to include some local luminaries, including... Sue Bird from the Seattle Storm. Marshawn oh, nice. Lynch is going to be a part of it. Wow. Which is pretty cool. Grabbing my ding ding. And also yeah. helping make announcements for which players are going to be drafted. Uh, Lenny Wilkins, remember Sonic's great, is going to be a part of it. Jordan Morris from the Sounders. Uh, Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, two you know, icons Whoa. for the Sonics. They're going to okay. be there. Bobby Wagner of the Seahawks. Kyle Lewis of the Mariners. And Macklemore. Oh, of course you got a Macklemore. Well, Macklemore is never going to miss out on an opportunity to be a yeah. part of something. Oh, yeah. So there you go. That's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow again on ESPN2. And also they announced yesterday the jerseys are finally going to be going on yeah. sale. Oh, they did announce that. Yes, they did. And it's going to be, I think, September 15th. Yep. So that's when oh. you can get your jerseys. So that's when, I mean. And or every for that one text of your sweaters. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the, the amateur draft will be done by then, too. So that makes sense. The amateur draft is, is next weekend. 
Yeah. It's after okay. the expansion draft. So, and I love in the press release, you know, because there is that argument. We joked about it yesterday about, like, is it called a jersey? Is it called a sweater? Yeah. Well, they called it both in the press release, which I thought was just perfect. Oh, that's how you keep everybody happy. That's how you shut people up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. He said, after almost a year of unveiling the Kraken brand, fans will finally get a first look at the official Seattle Kraken team sweater. The official jerseys will go on sale to the public on September 15th. Yeah, there we go. So there's going to be some pre-sale opportunities also for our membership program. They're going to be announcing a bunch of stuff in the next couple weeks, but very excited about that. As far as weather, uh, oh, first, Mariners playing tonight against the Rockies at 540. And the weather, 72 degrees. That's the major point. That's what's up. That is what's up. Well, big news. Lots of big news. What time again did you say it's starting the draft uh, tomorrow? Five o'clock. 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. on ESPN2. Uh, yeah, they're doing festivities at the at Gasworks Park, I think, starting at like 3.30. But if you're planning on watching it at home, you could just make sure you're in front of your television at 5 o'clock. And I, you may have said this and I missed it. Do you know how long it's expected to go? About an hour. Oh, I think that's what right. I think when I went online, or not online, when I went on my cable to set the DVR, I think it said from 5 to 6. Oh, it that's is, really cool. Yeah, right, I'm going gonna, gonna to go do the same thing. Yeah, because, I mean, they're, not, they're just announcing the players that they're going to be on their team. It's not like they have to wait for other teams to make picks. They don't have to have 15 minutes in between each draft pick. You know, it's not like a NH- an NFL draft show. I thought maybe they'd call the player, like you'd get to see the phone call, you know, and the, uh, of the person. Yeah, being, I wonder how they're going to do that. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they have video of these players because, I, I mean... Um, there's, I got to imagine Ron Francis has talked to a lot of the players that they're already they they probably already know who they're picking. Yeah, that's at a good this point. point. I hope they'd be yeah. excited when they got the call. It's not like that's oh, the no, problem. I'm leaving, my, the, I'm leaving this <laughs> team that I've been a part of for X yeah. amount of years or whatever. There, there's two, there, I bet there's two sides that there's some guys who are just like really happy where they're at and they don't want to go. And there's other players. There's a defenseman on. I, I think he's on uh, Carolina Bean. And he's just like a really good defenseman, but their team is just stacked with great defensemen. So I'm hoping we get that dude uh, because he's probably going to be happy to be able to be bumped up. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden now he has more of a, a spotlight on him as opposed to just being in a sea of great defensemen. Yeah, that's that's that that's the exciting part for any any player is to get to be like like the guy to get to be like you said, Steve. You know, one of the top line guys. Right. Whereas some people maybe will take it as an insult that their team didn't protect them. Yeah, well, you know what? Which is fine. Come over here with a chip on your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Half empty, half full. We'll take you, buddy. (laughs) Also, too, there's a lot of just random um, uh, watch parties to going on, too. Like uh, in West Seattle, the Dick's drive-in food truck is going to be at West Seattle Brewing from 4 to 7, and they're inviting everyone out. Dick's is all about this, man, because the the Dick's right by the Needle, you know, in Queen Anne, they're they're blocking off their parking lot, and they're just going to have it be like a total, like, party there. It's awesome. Of course... Dick's Burgers will be served. Yes. Yeah, which is that's, never a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the key to that watch party, Dick's Burgers. You're absolutely right. Dude, it was weird. I went to Dick's uh, last week at the because my buddy was in town. So I'm like, oh, let's just meet up somewhere. And they wanted to get something quick. So I'm like, oh, it's an iconic place. You should come here and enjoy some Dick's, you know? So oh, we yeah. meet up at the Queen Anne one thinking that we could sit down, but they didn't have any tables or chairs in there. So we met up. But they have like little, like, little, like, like shelves around the window. So you could eat, like, by the window. Yeah, um, I, uh, some of these fast food restaurants, they're still the last ones to be able to have indoor dining. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, man, didn't think this one through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, good to see you. Would you like to stand and eat burgers together? We'll just I stare at each other as we eat. I don't blame you because that's the perfect location. It's like a regular sit-down fast food joint. You figure, let's do that, Dicks. And the weird part, though, it worked out great because they brought their kids with them. They have three kids around 10, 11, 12 or so. So they just got to run around inside the dicks while we just all hung out and just BS'd. That's well, there is that. So they weren't like bound to a chair. So you can still run around inside the place. They just don't have any place to sit. Yes. I I, I, <laughs> all right. I don't. All right. I don't understand. I just. I again. I don't blame any restaurants because they're the, they. I I know restaurants go. We, we. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Well, I think we know what we're supposed to do. And it's like I don't know why some restaurants can have a hundred percent, and then you've got that situation at dicks. I don't understand it. You know so. All right. Hell, uh, I know, but I enjoyed a burger. Yeah. Yeah, that's the important part. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. What is the capital of Kuwait? I don't know. A Kuwait city. Yes. Good job, buddy. Brilliant. You know, <laughs> yeah. Good job. Finally, the, the blank city worked for you. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs. We're going to do that at 650 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. 
What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3-3 through 5-18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing.